Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Kellen here from Star Your Systems, and welcome to another edition of Track Walking MX Simulator, where today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to try to make this work. It's probably just going to look like crap, but hopefully it uh, is a little bit interesting to see. What I'm doing is I'm playing uh, Tommy Lilla, or Tom, Tom, Tommy Lilla, I, I don't even know. Enduro, I've already messed it up, by Matthias Lidman. Yeah, that one. <laughs> um, and this is a track that he had already kind of created called Tommy Lilla 1 and 2. I guess it's a track in Sweden. I don't know if it's a real track or not. Um, but then he released this Enduro version. And by nature, a track walk in real life is like, all right, let's go scope out the track and see what it's like. So what I've finally decided to try after 126 of them is to actually just do this without playing the track first. And so really just kind of, you guys will see my real kind of play-by-play action of what I'm seeing for the first time, because I've never even played the track yet. It's a little tricky because all these low-hanging trees already, but as you guys know, I am not a first-person player. So we're going to try to do our best with this track here and see exactly what I can do. I do know that Matthias Lidman's Enduros are not too challenging. Um, I, you know, he did make that November Kaysen one or whatever, but that one was just like crazy ridiculous hard. And I don't get the sense that this one's going to be the same way as that. Could be. Could be a really long track walk. Could be fairly short because I only want to do a couple laps on it. But I just wanted to try something a little bit different today, go into it just completely unknown and see where I came out essentially with uh, learning the track just right off the bat like this. So it's kind of cool, like I said, um, it's built into a pre-existing motocross track that he made in the game. And uh, it is a very, very rough motocross track. Not that I've played it, but I have seen several pictures of it and it is gnarly, so I will include those download links to that track in the description below, um, as well as obviously the one that I'm playing right now. So this is part of the track where it's like, oh, come on, how's it a fall off? This is part of the track where it is, the track is actually, you know, part of the Enduro. And we've seen that before with some of Hagvist's uh, Enduro tracks. I don't know if it's a product of European tracks or whatnot. But it's kind of cool nonetheless to have like an actual MX track be a part of the Enduro. I assume I am still going the right way since the path is guiding me this way. And uh, this is going to be the real frustrating part of the video is that I'm going to crash probably a lot because I don't know anything about this track or where I'm going yet. And like I said, it's kind of just to get you guys familiar with how I initially test a track since it is called like a track walk. Like what, what am I doing to get comfortable on a track from the beginning? Um, first of all, you can see I'm not over jumping things. I'm not flying into corners recklessly and crashing all the time. I'm trying to learn the track as uh, you should do with everything in this game. And so far it's working somewhat decently. You can see how rough this track is. Really big bumps all the way across the track. Oh, landed nose heavy there. Didn't expect that jump to come up on me so quick. Really, really bumpy stuff. All right, we got a left turn here into a single track by the look of it. Try to weep my way through here. I feel like all too often on these track walks, I don't talk enough about the track. I just kind of go off on tangents and people always call me on that and say like, whoa, what the hell? You didn't even talk about the track and what's going on on the screen. So I feel like this might be a solution to that where I actually just, you know, the first time I play a track um, is what you guys are seeing right now. You know, it's like, what are my initial thoughts and opinions? What am I thinking about as I play the track, etc., etc. So. So far, pretty cool. I like uh, the way that these single tracks are organized. Um, I do like the tracks, uh, the enduro tracks, when they have like open up areas, like the uh, national track on this one, because it allows for passing. When you're on these single tracks and you're doing an enduro race, it's pretty hard to pass on these without like cutting the track or missing a timing gate or doing something silly like that. So when you have open areas that are easier to pass on, it's really nice. Otherwise, when you're in single tracks, you pretty much just have to wait for whoever's in front of you to crash and then you have to kind of bob and weave around them and you lose a bunch of time. So that's how Enduros work though. I mean, obviously there are a lot of like single file bits on some of the crazy hard Enduros. Oh my gosh, these trees are just like in the way. Uh, I'm so bad at first person or else I would try. 
but I'm really, really bad at it. So I'm going to refrain and hope that it clears up just a little bit so we're not just looking at trees the whole time. I'm doing decently so far at navigating my way through and knowing where I'm going. And I really don't know how long this track is. Like I said, it, it could be quite a long one. I'm guessing by the fact that when I loaded in my frame rates are going a little bit nuts that it's a pretty big terrain. But he did also say that he built this on an existing MX track, so I don't know if he had that planned from the get-go or if he decided to do that after he built the track, which usually means that the terrain might have been smaller because he built a track before he did anything else. So I guess, like I said, I will find out as this video goes on. Oh, a little hot, cooking it in there. Traction is very, very grippy on this track. Like it just, you, I'm in first gear most of the time and it's just shooting me all over the place. Oh, clipped a little inside barrier there. All right, looks like I've worked my way back towards the first section I was going through a little bit. Doing an okay job of navigating these ruts. I don't know if and when the track will like double back on itself or do anything like that. All right, this is very, very tight single track stuff. Got a sharp U-turn here. And another one right here. Oh, lost the front end a little bit. Dove it in, chucked it over. All right. Oh, we got a little twisty turvy uphill. Get hooked in a rut and work my way up there. Working my way up the hill with my bike. We're weaving up the hill so fast. Da -na 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 -na. All right, now I have reached a road of some sort and down the backside, oh my, there is a quarry or something over there. I don't know what that is, uh, but I've already blown a rut at the bottom of this hill, so let me get straightened out and try to get a run back up this hill. There it is. All right, so we cross over that road and then we cross back, so we're kind of coming back towards where the track is right now. These ruts are very, very nice to work through. And it's nice that the trees don't have collisions either, or else I would just be crashing into them all the time. And I am also on a 450, for those of you that uh, haven't listened to the bike or anything yet. Usually that deeper growl denotes a 450. If you ride a 350F in this game, it sounds like a 250F, and it's got that kind of high-pitched winging noise. 450, it's got that boah power. All right, back on this ridge line. Weaving through some ruts up here. All right, now we're going left by the looks of it. I'm gonna get sat down and get ready for this because it's a downhill. Or is it just an off camber? Nope, it's a downhill. All right, and then we go through some little weavies. Go this way and that way. Okay, looking good so far. Almost looped my Larry. Let's just first gear pinned up this hill. Got a kick halfway up it, but I'm safe. We're good. All right, this is a very steep downhill into an off camber by the looks of it. Okay. I don't know where that piece of track just came from. Well, maybe it's like if you can't get up the hill, which I can't, you're supposed to go down there and use that area. So let me go down there and use that area to get my way up the hill. Yeah, look, there's even a little rut down here for you to turn around and cool. So you go brah, brah, brah. Oh, <laughs> I crashed. Oh man, that rut kicked me out a little bit. Let's see if from right here if I can get going. All right, straighten out and clutch and oh yeah, plenty of grip. Nice little traction up here at the top. Weave around that tree again. Okay, this is, this is looking dark and scary down this backside. I'm a little nervous. All right, I just got some ruts here. That's nice. Bumps. Oh, is this a water splash? Nope, just a little rut hole thing. Interesting. Okay. Now we're working around the other end of the racetrack. And we're at the back side of that now. So at some point, we're going to go down to that quarry and then go all the way around to the other side of the racetrack from where we are right now. So we still have to do like a whole loop around the edge of the racetrack. And I don't know what that is going to entail because we're at the edge of the map right now. That little cliff looking thing to our left is the edge of the map and there's no racetrack going back that way. So we will not come back this way at any point. So from here on out, we are headed back towards the other end of the track, I'm assuming. Most likely gonna go down to that quarry thing. 
kind of excited to get there and see what that is all about. I got some bumps, some rollers into the hills back here. This is all just crazy chaos. I love Enduros in this game though. It's so much fun to um, do something like this where you feel like you're just like kind of flowing, connecting lines, doing um, just natural trail riding almost is what it feels like to me. Because a lot of the Enduro tracks in this game, it's more or less just trail riding because it's really hard to make like the rock sections and stuff like that. As mentioned in our most recent online play that we did, the Muddy Enduro Battle online play, uh, we were talking about how Hagvis laid rocks down that weren't really rocks, they were terrain, and then put a rock decal on top of it. I am so sorry for all these trees. Alright, here we go. And uh, so yeah, what Hagvis did there is pretty much the only true way you can get good objects that are um, easy to hit while not just completely screwing you over. Because there are rock objects in this game, but... The objects all have really strange collision files on them, so <clears throat> it's kind of hard to use those rocks. Some people still do, and uh, Hagvist himself has even done that before. Um, but most of the time, it's nice to actually make a terrain that you have to go over instead of an object, because the objects are a little funky. And most of what you've seen, well, everything you've seen here so far that I've gone over is uh, terrain. On the other side, or on like the left side of the track right now, those are all objects, you know, like banners, trees, etc. Alright, we have hit the rock quarry and we are flying down. Well, it's not a rock quarry, it's just a quarry, sand pit, whatever you want to call it. And looks like we got a little double to greet us on our initial entry. This is definitely sand though. This traction is a whole different ball game. Okay, here we go. We're going uphill. Get to the top. Oh man, I thought I wasn't gonna make it, but I didn't want to shoot over the top. And back down. All right, looking good. Now we're working our way this way. Jeffrey hurlings through the sand. Brop, brop. All right, this looks like some sort of step up that I jumped off the left side of, but oh well. All good, just wall ride back down into the corner. This is a tabletop. Nope, it's a double, but fortunately I jumped it. Alright, working our way over here. Cool little things to kind of weave back and forth through there. This is fun in itself for the sand track. Could just do a little race on the sand track here. Ruts and bumps and stuff like that. Good fun. Well built so far, I'm really enjoying my time playing this track. Okay, so we're over here. Looking smooth, looking steady getting kicked but we're good sand's nice because it's very forgiving even in this game like you can have some really weird stuff happen in the sand and still just use the throttle to your advantage and ride out of it all right i should have jumped that all right keep the traction on nicely done all right we are out of the sand quarry for the time being but i have a feeling we're going back in and my feeling would be correct as i'm going back down this hill here didn't really know where the track went, so I was just kind of weaving down the hill. Alright, going over here. Continuing to work our way around these banners, and back up the hill we go. I don't know where this is going, but I just barely made that one. Had to let up the throttle to not loop out. Almost looped my Larry. Alright, I think we're going back down to the quarry one more time at least. Judging by the other terrain and track that I've seen in that general vicinity, I think we're going back one more time. I'm going to try to sneak into this inside rut. Nicely done. Alright. Looking smooth, looking nice. I like these trails so far. These are fun. They have ruts, but they're not like unforgiving ruts. And here we go, back down to the quarry, like I said. Alright. Oh, cool. We go back up the ramp just like we came into. I don't know if that will be the last time we're in the quarry though. I still have a hunch we're going down there one more time. So just where we entered at, oh, going along there. We are also exiting out of the quarry over here. All right, get to the top, hook a little left-hander, and we're still in the bob and weave section. Now we're on some single track, oh, blue the corner. Oh, that was a split section. 
And good thing I took that- oh no, wait, never mind, it comes back over here. I was gonna say, good thing I took that line that I did, because that was a horrible split section, but it evens out. Oh, clipping the edge of the track. Alright, flying down this way, don't know where we're going. There is no track map, which is also part of the challenge. Oh, that's a U-turn. Uh, just as I'm talking about not knowing where to go, I completely blow a corner. This tree is in the way. <laughs> just sitting there. Alright. Working through here nicely. Man, this is a really fun track. I'm glad I did this. I think this is working out quite well so far. You guys are actually seeing me do something decently uh, for my first go through, which doesn't happen all too often, especially in this game. Normally it's just uh, crash, 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 crash. Second lap around, crash twice as often. Third lap around, fix up some things and only crash half the time, and then finally get stuff going. All right, out of that section, now might be going back into it. Get the feeling we're gonna be crossing back over that road that I kept seeing earlier. Keep missing the inside ruts too. All right, some rollers. We've been in through here. It's easier to sit down even though I'm in the rollers here, just because it keeps you a little bit more balanced while I'm trying to look ahead. All right. Whoop, 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 yep, easy. Don't get kicked out there. Smooth as butter. I am working my way up this hill. This is a U-turn. Yep, figured it would be. Um, Alright, looking good. I'm surprised I have not gotten lost yet. Oh, here we go, off camber. Still can't really see. Alright, we're good. Hmm, alright, this is a downhill. Oh, little jump. Yep, yeah, pardon me. Cool, that was, a, that was kind of a cool little section. All right, working around some of these trees. Looks like it's folding back on each other. Nope, we are turning the other way, pardon me. Headed this way now. And nope, 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 now we're going back into the trees a little bit deeper. Deeper into the forest. And away and back. Lots of twists and turns on this track. Going through the trees. See, I don't know how much better first person would have been, because the trees hang pretty low. I feel like I would have just gone right through a lot of these trees anyway. All right. Oh, these trees are scaring me. Fortunately, they don't have collisions, but I feel like I'm gonna get attacked. Oh boy, all right. Sometimes today we are gonna work our way back towards the racetrack, I feel like. I know we're working our way towards it right now, but there's gotta be a way that like we get to back on the track or something along those lines. Another off camber. Really liking how this stuff is built though. Very well done. Oh, that's a big off camber. Hello. Good thing I braked. Alright. Navigate over this wire down the hill. Oh no, I slid out. All right, here we go. Okay, there it is. Lovely touch, back down the hill. Okay. All right, someday we will find the racetrack once again. This is just a lot of back and forth action though. field seems a little bit more open though. I still don't get it. Like I feel like I'm complete I haven't really moved that far. I've kind of lost my sense of direction at this point. Well, there is that off camber hill from before that I got stuck on. So now we are working our way right towards the track, but now we're going back away from it again. All right, headed down this way. I can't believe the track hasn't gone over itself yet. I feel like there's a good chance it won't though at this point if we haven't already. Um, all right, back on the road, just like I suspected. So we're gonna scoot down the road this way. And there is a left turn right here. Oh, continue on the road. Oh, nope, we're going back off the road again. Okay, 
into the trees once more. Still right next to the road, so I kind of have a clue where I am. The quarry is behind me. Sand pit, whatever you want to call it. All right. Going back and forth a little bit, some switchbacks. And we're back on the road again, all right. And we're back off the road again. <laughs> Just weaving it back to the other side. But this, so this is gonna be a U-turn, yep. And then it'll be back on the road again. And then I think we're gonna go down into the quarry slash sand pit one more time. One more time. We're gonna celebrate, oh yeah. Oh, maybe not. Just back on the plains here, the grassy plains. Alright, and yep, going right, going right, U-turn, I'm going to use this outside, and up, and to the left, man oh man, this track is long, okay, oh, this is a very tight section through here, and back down into the sand pit. Knew it, one more time we were going down here. Freaking 21 minutes in. All right, up the other side, watch out for the edge. Still hit it. Okay. Now we're on the very edge of the map on the other side from where I was before. And there's sand over here, okay. Oh, getting bucked, saved it. Triple. Oh man, this sand is a little bit steeper than the other sand. Got some big, big humps in it. Okay, and there's nothing over here. No decals or anything. I don't know what that is supposed to be. And now we're at the far back corner of the map from where we started, essentially. I hope that does a signal halfway. I feel like it signals further than halfway since we've used up so much of the other side of the track. But this still could be a lot of stuff going on back here. Like I said, this this could be a very long track walk. Maybe one of our longest of recent memory. All right, Let's slide through here and there. Oh boy, almost got a bad kick. Okay, yeah, looking good. Oh boy, oh. Bumps are deadly. So the, most of this track seems to be these grassy uh, single track kind of things going on. <laughs> what the heck is that supposed to be? Did you put like some way that you're supposed to weave through there? It's funny. Kind of cool little high side almost thing right there. Use the gas to correct myself. So I do some stuff in this game still where I'm just like, oh, that was so cool. Like, oh, you could never do that in another game. Not that you couldn't do what I just did, but I still surprise myself occasionally playing this game six years later from picking it up. All right. Over here now. Don't know what that means yet. Could mean we're close to the end, could mean we still have a long ways to go. I'm gonna hope it is that we are closer to the end. Still a lot of these off-camber corners though, and just trees for days. But uh, Matthias Lidman has been pumping out tracks lately. This is like another enduro track. He's put out at least three, if not four or five enduro tracks this year or close to this year. So he's just going to town, which I enjoy. And uh, Lidman's a really good player in this game too. Definitely no slouch at playing the game. So he knows how to build a good track that's playable for not only pros, but hopefully all skill levels. Cause this one seems to be fairly tame. I don't know if I've had a fall off crash since I was actually on the track, I'm trying to think. Don't believe I have though. Just keep doing little slide outs here and there. I can tell that we're close to the track again, but we're not that close, so might still have a little bit of a ways to go. We got a drop right there. He seems to signal when something kind of unique is coming up by putting a lot of these 
red banners um, either on the side of the track or something along those lines. Got some more little trail action through some ruts. All right, now the track right in front of us again. I'm trying to keep a keen eye on when we might go back on that. Oh man, I tipped over. Go, 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 go. Get to the top of the hill, then worry about the rest later. Oh man, that was a deep rut. Did not see that one coming. Okay. Really taking my time, tiptoeing through here, making sure I don't make a mistake. All right, we have reached the edge of the track over here, so unless the track crosses back over itself, we are not going anywhere backwards from here. It's all pretty much in front of me here to the left now that we'll be using. Keeping tabs on where the rest of the track is so I know how long this track is. Got a swooping off camber corner there. And sand again, all right. Sand likes to rear its head in some very strange places on this track, it would seem. Oh, that is a tabletop over a hill. I'm going down. Yep. Yep. Knew it was happening. Bounced really funny and started just floating one way, and I'm like, oh, not going to save that today. And then these trees are just in the way. Okay. Oh boy, whew, all right. Jesus Christmas, these rollers are gigantic. All right, all the way at the back end of the map now. Keep saying back end, but this is really like the far side of the map and there is the track once again. I hope that means that we are gonna hit it soon. A lot of single track action weaving through this stuff here. All right, and looks like we are heading back onto the track. Yes, we are, okay. Back on the track. Back on track to where we want to go. That is a big rut right there. Doesn't necessarily mean we are at the end yet that we are back on the track, but I think it might be. Taking my time because I don't know this track at all. We'll just hit this because YOLO. Well, that wasn't too bad anyway. Whoa! Save of a lifetime followed by an endo. Immediately too. Got a big kick, swapped diddlied, and caught myself only to crash. Is this the end? I think it is. Thinking we're coming around the corner to go over the finish line in a second. Or go back onto the main straight because I can see the start line back down there. So big tabletop into some rough stuff down here at the bottom. And we have made it back to the start line. Is this the end of a lap? <gasps> It is 2741.5 for an entire lap of, I don't even remember the track name now, Tommy Lilla, or whatever it is, a track in Sweden, I can only assume. Another track created by Matthias Littman, a crazy track that you guys should definitely check out, try to better my lap time maybe, or do whatever. That was my first full lap of the track, and I felt pretty good about that one. I'm happy with it. So thank you guys for sticking by my side for the first ever live first go through track walk edition track walk video. Yeah, that's the official title of it. That's what I'm going to call the video. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching another edition of track walk here on the channel. If you guys like this video, go ahead and uh, like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Lots of new subscribers lately and you guys are all the bomb diggity yo. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to air them out in the comments section below. And uh, hit this track up in the description below, as well as any other things that we may have mentioned in the video. But for Kellen here on Starry Systems, we'll see you guys in the next one.